Hey, I'm having bike trouble. My bottom bracket's going out. I'm 10 miles from Ozark. It's making a hell of a noise. Well, another beautiful sunrise in the Ozarks. If you hear me breathing hard, it's because I just come up that big hill. Oh, I gotta remember this. I gotta pause, pause that, and pause that. Now, go back. Yeah, I haven't been pausing it, and it actually messes up my times. Oh, well, this is where I'm at. I'm actually in the church parking lot. Oh, now let's go back and look. Raise that up. There you go. Come on in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Oh. Ain't that beautiful? Slowly, slowly, ho, oh, slowly, slowly. See the horizon? Look at that. Is that not beautiful? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Mother. I speak life to my atoms, my cells, my DNA. I speak that I'm upcoding the codons of love and light to each DNA molecule, each nucleus of each strand of each fiber within this body. I speak life, peace, love, and strength. I speak that I'm becoming younger and younger, healthier and healthier. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Mother. I speak this with the resurrected power of the I Am. I am blessed and have much favor. I have money coming to me 15 ways. I am blessed and have much favor. I have money, wealth, love, peace, prosperity, people that are willing to and want to help with projects. I speak this with the resurrected power of the I Am. I am blessed and have much favor. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Mother. I am becoming younger and younger, stronger and stronger, faster and faster, faster in the swim and faster on the bicycle. Thank you, Father. I am grateful. To all my loved ones, I speak ho'opono opono. I love you. Forgive me. I'm sorry. Thank you. Father, transmute it back to zero within their thinking and back to zero within my thinking. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Mother. I am blessed. Well, I'm going to turn this camera off so I can do some sun gazing. All right. Stay tuned for what happens this day, July the 19th, 2017. Well, I wish you'd look. They did um, that side over there. They've already did this side over here. And now they're really close to the top. But they did all that yesterday. Can't get around to the back to show you the back, but man, they're fast. And they were uh, Mexicans. I don't know if that's the correct way to say it there, but that's what they are. They're a Mexican roofing crew, and they wear straw hats. So coming around that corner way over there, I, I can see the straw hats. That's why I thought they were Amish. But they're not. 
And um, that's not an easy roof right there. That's an architect shingle roof. That is a really thick and uh, good roof. Okay. All right, maybe I can figure out a way to get a video of the backyard, of the back of the house. All right, let's see what I find out. Well, I was just talking to the guy up on top, and he said that uh, the plywood is to help strengthen it before they actually start putting the roof on. And it's just what, it's just a procedure that they do. Hope we don't fall while I'm videotaping. That wouldn't be good. Let me zoom out in case he does. You know, that's how they do on the national news. They say, well, let's zoom out in case he does. All right, today is July the 19th. It's a Wednesday and these guys are coming right on along. Got it going on. There's his little blueprint table. All right. They're plumbing it. Cool. Well, good morning, everybody. This is my lap one. Today is July the 19th. It's a Wednesday. And um, I'm going to talk about that Conor McGregor, Floyd Mayweather fight. And what I'm going to be doing, uh, I've already started. Actually, I've been started for quite a few weeks. You can just, you know, go to my Strava and see what I've been doing. But I'm actually kicking it up now. This is the 19th, the fight is August the 26th. So, it's just a challenge to see if I can do it. I believe I can. I know I can. What I'm gonna do as much riding as I can between now and then. And I'm even thinking about swimming and do two a days swim, ride the bike in the morning, and swim in the afternoon. Start off like, you know, half a mile, increase it to one mile, and then go to two miles, swim. So I'm gonna encourage everybody out there that sees these videos and gets motivated about health and wellness and, and consciousness of thought, mind and body. What does it mean to uh, actually want to be healthy. Uh, to motivate somebody is a great thing. And that's why, I, in a way, that's kind of why I want to do these videos is to help motivate myself and help motivate people. So take this challenge with me, Conor McGregor, uh, Floyd Mayweather challenge. We're going to do this right up to the weigh-in. And I'm not saying that we got to weigh a certain weight. I'm just saying we got to be happy about what we've done. We are the product of our last six months thinking. I've said that in other videos, but I'm gonna em emphasize it here. So whatever you've been thinking for the last six months has to stop. And you have to change the way you think. And when you change the way you think, then the things, the substance, everything around you, even the physical changes, even down into your DNA. So if we're the product of the last six months thinking, then if we think that we can do it so we get to the next six months and look back and have done many things in many days that our future self would look back and say, man, I'm glad you did that. I'm glad you didn't choose that ice cream. I'm glad you didn't choose that Big Mac. I'm glad, I'm glad you didn't choose sleeping all day. I'm glad you choose to move. You choose to walk. You choose to get up and see yourself become healthy. 
I embrace you that hear this to do this. Start off one day at a time, but just remember you're the product of your last six months thinking. So wherever you are, you can increase it in the next six months further than your mind's potential would even imagine that you can do it. And that's how I've done it all these years. And I'm not saying I'm, I'm super, but I'm just saying I learned something in my awakening about consciousness and about how the mind works. So I'm trying to pass it on to you and uh, people that see this video and just encourage folks to yeah. move. Well, I'm at the top. I was, I mean, I was, my left leg was crippled up, my back was hurt, and all I could do was uh, barely do my chair yoga. I met a lady from Russia that taught me that. Hey, I'll talk about that later. <laughs> all right. Yeah, if you thought that power washer was loud across over there at Hardy's, man, it's loud over here. He caught on to me filming now. I got to casually turn this way. <laughs> okay. What I'm saying is probably all that footage that I shot over at Hardy's is null and void. But, hey, I won't know until I edit it. All right. I'm continuing out on my return lap. If I come all the way back to Hardy's, it'd be lap two. What your model? That's 1951. This guy said I could take a video of it, and man, he's got it looking good. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you, man. 51. There's that Ford logo right there. <laughs> that all I remember was the old version. Now I'm in a reality that shows the curly Q, the little pigtail. That is a really cool looking truck. Oh man, it's got a hell of a motor in it. Ah! Check it out. All right, this is my second lap. I gotta hurry up. I gotta do a friend a favor. So that's, I'm, I'm putting the pedal down so I can get there. And I don't like letting somebody down. If I tell them I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. All right, let me drink water. Mmm. H2O, you gotta love it. Mmm. McGregor, Mayweather, challenge. Yeah, I'm training like Mayweather and training like Conor McGregor. Yep, till August 26th. Keep watching my videos. I'll have more insight <laughs> as I come up with it. Hey, I'm having bike trouble. My bottom bracket's going out. I'm 10 miles from Ozark. It's making a hell of a noise. Huh? I don't know. I'm gonna have to take it in to the bike shop. I know that. Well, this is as far as I can go. That bottom bracket is just every bit out. It, look at it. It is not supposed to move like that. Oh, man. I'm at a friend's house. So, that's seven miles from Mozart. But, I'm stuck. <laughs> All right. Let me see how it turns out. I got to take that thing into a bike shop. Hey, everybody. This is Buddy. Well, I'm at A and B Cycles, and I'm talking to the manager. I'm Patrick Winstead. And he's going to hook me up. He's a rider, so he knows what it feels like when you're down. And, dudes, I am down. Bottom bottom bracket dropped. I mean, it, when you pick it up, you can literally hear pieces inside it moving. 
But I, w I mean, I was going hard and heavy. I was I, my fastest ride of the year. I was getting close to 17 mile an hour average on my 46 Ozark to Rogersville. And when it dropped, my heart just went, oh, this is a sad feeling, dude. But I, ha I mean, I had some serious heels to get up and I had to get to a house where I knew somebody to get a ride. But uh, this is the first time I've been at A and B Cycles, and they're going to do me a good job. I know they are because I'm going to finish this video on the backside bragging about how good they did. All right, y'all know. We got you. Y'all know I love my bike, man. It's like a baby. We got right. you covered, man. Appreciate it, man. You got it, man. The rating the media received was the lowest of all institutions. Another public opinion poll by Gallup showed the media's credibility has reached a record low. This is not much of a surprise given the media's constant barrage of personal attacks and negative news coverage. I'm not surprised, motherfuckers. <laughs> Please like us and share with your social media. Please subscribe and click the bell to be notified of our new videos. Stay tuned. This video is Creative Commons. You have permission to download, copy, and distribute it by any means.